Good morrow and happy Thursday, my friends. We are off to Lowe's. I bought the wrong paint and one of my paint mixes was not shaken. So on the agenda today, Anyway, now that I've composed myself, he just cracks, he just cracks me up. Anyway, I am going to take you to the top of the stairs and show you what is at the landing up at the top. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to continue painting in the living room. And I've got a couple projects. The corner I need to finish and then I have another one that I'm going to put in the kitchen. There's a reason why I'm making a project and I'm putting it in the kitchen and I will explain that as I'm doing it, but it should be a very, very simple project. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, busy day, busy day. I hate to say it, but it almost needs, the walls almost need another coat. Oh my God, help me. Bought the paint and the primer mixed but I don't know if you can see behind me that has two coats. I can just see a little bleed through of the gray. It's, it's National, National Dogs Day. You are making a spectacle of yourself already. Okay, be nice. Sit still or you're not getting it. No, 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 no. Hey. Before I get too involved in the painting, let me take you upstairs. It's my favorite. Okay, so when we get to the top of the stairs, this is where the chandelier from the dining room will go. And I love this big, huge window that you can see outside. You can look over our yard. And when you turn around, you've got a couple more steps to go up and you've got this. So years ago, I lived in a farmhouse, like 25 years ago. We had one of these in our kitchen. Does anyone know what this is? It is an ironing board. It works, it's functional. You pull this out and then there's also another one, a little sleeve one that pops out. So there's an outlet, it is perfect because I hate hunting for the ironing board. I hate storing it, here it is. My goal is to paint this and to take off the hardware and get it back to its original color. And who does not like extra storage? Look at this. It has storage for whatever. You can, you know, leave that there if you want shelves or you can put another one here if you have sport coats or suits that you don't want to put in your regular closet. This one has shelves. And then this one again has the bar to hang clothes. And it is deep. I mean, it is at least two feet deep, at least. And I love the old wainscoting in the back. I love it. Again, my goal is to remove all of the hardware and restore it back to its original color. I forgot, I have a whole list of things I need to do today. You guys wanted screenshots of the paint, which I will put next. Someone asked about our toaster. Let me flip the key. This is a Farberware toaster. I got it at Walmart. It has four buttons, one's the defrost, heat, cancel, and bagel, and I love that it has digital, digital controls. It is currently out of stock at Walmart, but you can um, go to Walmart and ask for an alert when it comes back in stock. And <laughs> I forgot, no, I didn't forget. I was just looking at my list. A lot of you asked about what kind of bar stool I got. Let me flip the camera and then I will explain what I bought compared to what we have. These are the ones that are here. 
Um, these measure 23 inches. I love the way that the bar stool tucks in underneath here. I went with the same style. I thought about getting something different, but I like this. I like that it's a square top. I didn't want to introduce a round seat for whatever reason. And I did choose a gunmetal gray because I thought it would match better with the appliances and I didn't want to add a third metal color since we have a copper range hood and stainless steel appliances. Don't mind me, just sitting here hanging out on the floor, looking up at my ceiling that's freshly painted and done. Ceilings are, they're the worst for me. I don't like ceilings. I can knock the rest of this out in about two hours, all of the walls, even if I have to do them twice. And my next area I'm going to paint is the hallway from outside in, outside in the garden in. I'm gonna prime it first to see if that the difference but I'm working with a company on something for the hallway so that has to be done and I'm holy smokes what was that I'm scared to go outside because oh, oh, oh no uh, hold on bug bug hey stop <laughs> I was trying to tell you <laughs> god I look like a I just wanted to share that with you so you know what you look like when you chase your dog. Anyway, as I was coming in, someone was knocking on the back door with flowers. I have no clue who they're from, but I'm going to look. Now I'm crying. <laughs> Rob has been away on a business trip and decides to send me some beautiful flowers. the reason why I was trying to go outside I I wanted to see what that big boom was because I wondered if it was like a transformer that blew up or if somebody got in a wreck <laughs> Sorry, my God. the mystery noise has been solved some tree uh, guys came over and looked at a couple of our trees to make sure they didn't need to come down and I asked them if they had heard the noise earlier and they said yes one guy was actually up in the tree and it was actually lightning that struck very close to the tree and he scurried out of the tree very quickly <laughs> and they're done for today got the entire room painted ceiling and walls i just need to paint the molding and i did paint around the window just to see if i like it with the shutter no bueno no bueno so it's hard to see right now well, now you can. So look how white that is. And then the blind is, or the shutter is like a cream. Poopy. So I am going to go back to Lowe's and try to find a white that is not so bright. I wouldn't mind the contrast, but it's got to be, like if I could find the shade of the shutter, but light. I would be fine with that, but that's too much of a contrast for me. I wish you guys could see it um, in a different light. It just doesn't go very